Hello, friendies. Um, so um, I just wanted to make a quick video because some stuff was on my mind. Um, I have been, some of you know, some of you don't, but the last two months or so, I don't know, since before Thanksgiving, um, and it's now mid-January, but um, since before Thanksgiving, I've been feeling this uh, sense of peace and contentment, um, and gratitude, um, and uh, if, <laughs> Believe it or not, that's not a common feeling for me, but I, I've been feeling this, uh, and it's been really wonderful. And I've, and part of me is like been waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, when's it going to go to hell and and start feeling bad again? Um, and uh, <laughs> sure enough, in the last couple of days, I've awakened uh, about three days in a row. I've awakened uh, uh, very early in the morning, like three, four o'clock, and then had trouble going back to sleep with anxious thoughts just running through my head. That's also not common for me. So I'm like, what is going on here? Um, and what what it is, is uh, some of you know this and some of you don't, but I quit drinking uh, alcohol about a year and a half, well, 16 months ago almost. And um, uh, prior to that, I was really kind of a mess in a lot of ways. And um, I think this uh, 16 months, I've just learned and grown a lot. And uh, as I've been uh, thinking about it in the last couple of months, I've wanted to get it down on paper, you know, thinking uh, I should write my story or whatever. And uh, since I decided to do that, that's when this, these weird anxious feelings uh, have come up. And uh, I think it is related to just um, dredging up stuff from the past, you know, because I've been processing a lot of stuff about my life. Um, and I think that's important. It's a uh, part of it. You know, the feeling of it is making me want to not write the story, not write it down because I don't really want to feel all of those feelings and stuff. But then on the other hand, it's like, well, maybe that's exactly what I need to do. Process all this crap from my past. But the thoughts that I wanted to get on video today was, um, uh, that, uh, despite those uh, anxious dreams and stuff, I'm still feeling, about a million times better than I was a year and a half ago. And, uh, and I'm a, I was in a dark place in a couple of ways and, and uh, mentally just not right, um, spiritually not right, physically not right. And uh, what I wanted to say is that even though um, I haven't exactly come to the, I'm not like the 100% healthy person who everyone should emulate, um, I wanted to say that it's just so much better than it was before. And no matter what you're struggling with, whether it's something like drinking alcohol, which was my issue, or whatever it happens to be, self-doubt, insecurity, fear, shitty past, uh, whatever, um, that there is always hope, there's always redemption, there's always the ability to overcome. If you would just stay in the game, stay in the fight, keep moving, keep breathing, um, keep looking for a solution. And in my case, I mean, that involves talking to God a lot. Some of you may not dig that, but uh, I just kept pressing God, like, give me some answers. I mean, you're the big guy, so let's have it. And, and gradually um, the answers emerged, um, but I don't think they would have if I had quit. Um, if I'd quit looking and quit asking. So anyway, keep it short. If y'all are struggling, stay in the game, keep asking, keep searching, keep knocking on the doors. Uh, they will open eventually for you if you just stay in the game. Um, and I'm really, uh, I really mean this when I say it, if, if it can happen for me, it can happen for anybody. Cause like I said, I was in a pretty dark place and um, I've come out the other side and there's a lot of peace. It's not like perfect life. Still have to deal with stuff. In fact, like I have to now deal with these anxious feelings that I'm dredging up. So I've got to face stuff from 50 dang years ago um, that I don't particularly apparently had repressed, <laughs> and they're trying to get out now. So, um, so it's not all perfect and everything, but it's so much better. Um, so I just encourage you to stay in the game, keep fighting, um, keep searching for the answers. Um, if it can happen for me, it can happen for you. Um, and that's all. All right. So thanks for listening to my rambling and I'll 
Ciao, ti leo.